people dancing out of Egypt, you know, they were partying, marching on out of there like they were going to a Saturday Night Barn Dance. Yeah! Out of there, cowboy scout girl. Well, what you doing there, Tex? You starting to campfire tales without me? Well, I'm sorry, Roscoe. I was just telling them how our story ended, you know, with Mo leading all those people out of Egypt and those barn dances that they had. Well, Tex, I tell you, that's mighty kind of you, but you're forgetting just one little thing. And that's how the story ended. Wait, you mean this story doesn't have a big finale with them all dancing on barn dance? Not exactly. <laughs> it might have ended like that, but then the old sheriff, he changed his mind. You have got oh, to be kidding me. He did what? Tell you what, lean on in around the fire and I'll tell you how it ended. Mo was one of God's special people, the Israelites. And them Israelites, they'd been in big trouble. They's living in a place where this big old Maine sheriff didn't take too kindly to him, and he was making them all work for free. Oh. But God, he spoke to Cowboy Mo. He picked him to rescue him. He gave Mo a special walking stick. Mo, he marched right back in. He told that sheriff to let God's people go. But the sheriff was stubborn as all get out, and he wouldn't do it. Not until God had sent all them powerful plagues that were so bad, hmm. he finally said yes. Whoa! So they headed out to the promised land. There's a whistling and singing, oh, Susanna. And they all lived happily ever after. Yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> that right there is when that nasty old sheriff changed his mind. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Why would he do that? Well, Sheriff and the guys, they'd seen them Israelites all partying, leaving town for the promised land. And then they got to thinking, maybe that weren't such a good idea after all. Letting them go? I mean, who was going to work in the fields and dig for the gold? So what happened next? Surely that sheriff could have catch them with the head start they had? Well, I tell you, here's where it got crazy, because the sheriff, he done had the fastest stallions oh, in oh, all the land. Oh, oh, he oh. kicked them up to the wagons, and they headed off after them. Oh, no. Mo. Israelites, run, run, watch out, wake, look out, ah, watch out. Well, you can imagine them Israelites were scared. I mean, here they were marching along, and suddenly the dust was sailing through the sky from all them horses chasing after them. Oh, I'm guessing them Israelites boys were ready to put up a fight. Hillbilly ninjas, attack! Well, that's just the thing, Tex. They didn't have to, because you remember who was on the side of the Israelites, God was. So how was God fighting for them? Oh, I got it. God sent a big old tornado to suck them all up. All the sheriffs and the deputies, they'll ride up. I knew there'd be a tornado in the story. Well, I tell you, Tex, you ain't that far off. <laughs> it weren't no tornado, but it was a pillar of cloud by the daytime and a pillar of fire by night. It was oh. leading the people. And actually, God sent that pillar to the back to protect the people. You know, Roscoe, I've heard it both ways. Pillar of fire, tornado. Problem solved. Well, not exactly even a bigger problem now. They were up against a giant sea. The Red Sea, as a matter of fact. They were trapped like prayer mice. The sea in front of them, and the bad guys are chasing them behind. Oh. Well, old boy, I gotta burn my saddle and turkey buzzers in my belly. What happened next? Well, y'all remember that stick that Mo had? He held it up over the water because God told him to, and wouldn't you believe something amazing happened? A giant cried out, he came out of the sea and attacked that sheriff with his pinchers. Beep, beep. No, sir. Oh. The Israelites were able to walk right across the ocean on dry ground with the water all piled up on the sides. It was a miracle! Hey! Well, Roscoe, there's a problem. Them sheriff and all them boys just falling right across that sea too. Well, the Israelites, they did make it across the sea. The sheriff and those guys, they weren't far behind. But God told Mo to stretch out that stick again. And wouldn't you know it, the water all fell right on top of them. And they all drowned. Well, then all the Israelites were saved. Yeah! Oh, it's barn dancing time. Yeah, I'm sure there was. But you know what? The greatest thing they were celebrating is I bet they were remembering that God will fight for them. Well, Roscoe, that is a good big idea. God will fight for you. And you know what? I think that's a great way to wrap up our story. 
Well, it is, but guess what? We got just one more thing. It gets oh. even more exciting. Whoa. It's going to be so good. So you know what? Let's stoke the fire and hunker down for the last part of Cowboy Mo. Oh, <laughs> my